shut down defense again? That would be awesome if we could do that somehow. But this is a different year. We have a different team and they have a different team. Is this a conflict of uh, styles going into this game? You guys won't push the tempo and they like to have court? They are an opportunistic uh, fast break team. If they have the opportunity, they're not going to slow it down. They'll take advantage of it. But we're always trying to force the issue to try to do that. And, uh, they play a little different. Box out, and they have a ton of offensive rebounders. They have to box out because yeah. uh, those guys are relentless on the boards. And they, their starting lineup right now is the smallest guy, 6'4. Then they're 6'6, six, six, and then they're 6'8, six, 6'9. Six, they're very long, athletic, and ferocious on those offensive boards. Do you get the sense your team's invested in the NIT now after that first one out of the way? Yeah, I think so. Uh, just, you know. That, that start we had before was was rough. It's also finals week. You know, we normally don't schedule games during finals week in the uh, in the fall quarter because we know how guys can be distracted. But whatever it was, I anticipate us coming out ready to play. The length, the mad athleticism, why they're so good defensively. Well, I think it. I think they do a good job in fundamentally in their defensive scheme. Uh, I think that. The way they recruit, oftentimes we're in gyms and they're recruiting uh, the same guy because they like that length and athleticism. And you know, a guy like Winston Shepard, he's been playing their system now four years. Uh, Skylar Spencer, he's their all-time lead block shot leader. Uh, he's been in that system for four years. They've got some guys that have been in that system and have played that defense. And they know it like the back of their hand. And that, that makes them do a pretty. That makes them really good defensively. Is there any one person that, that you need to sort of zone in on? Um, what, basically, what it was Shepard that last game who had a triple-double. Obviously, that jumps out at you, but is he the one, or is it Nell, their guard? or They have multiple guys that can make plays. You know, Winston Shepard, I think, obviously, is the catalyst. He's a veteran. He's a guy that... Uh, makes big plays for them on the glass, on defense, on offense. Uh, Trey Kell is an outstanding guard. Uh, he can really play the game. Uh, Jeremy Hemsley was the freshman of the year in the Mountain West. And he's a freshman now. He's now coming off the bench, but they, uh, they have a number of players that are capable of making baskets. And uh, is this the, the type of game where they only allow 60 points per game? So. Do you try to just get better in the half court, or do you just try to outscore them? I mean, obviously the goal is not for them, but, but do you try to force that tempo? We're going to always try to force tempo, but every time we don't set a screen, if we don't come up with a screen hard, if we don't have the proper angle on a screen, if we drive to the basket half-heartedly and, not, and we're not aggressive, it'll be really rough for us to score. We have to make sure that uh, we're efficient on offense. Having uh, Andrew sit out so long in the last game, you got a semblance of what this team will look like without him next year, maybe? And, and they did really well in holding down the fort and staying in a tight game. It's always interesting. You think that when a guy's out that, OK, this is what they're going to look like. But when Andrew's gone, there will be an entirely different makeup in terms of Who's going to do what? There'll be other. There's someone averaging, not averaging double digits right now that will next year. There, last year, Andrew averaged 15 points a game, and he averaged 21 this year. So, he's he, his role is even different. So guys will have different roles. So it's hard to say this is what we're going to look like. This is a sneak preview when Andrew's gone because the team will just be a little different. Do you remember much from the last time that you guys played there and just how tough of a place is, is uh, that? They've done quite well for a long, long time. Uh, I don't know the exact numbers. You might know, Ashley, but I think they've only lost 12 games in the last double-digit years plus whatever it is. They just don't lose there. Uh, I think they had a streak at one time when they were up at halftime. They had won 30 straight games or something like that. Leaving with five minutes left, they had one like 100 games. Okay, with five minutes to go? Yeah. So they just, 
That's pretty good. So they do well. They'll have a lot of people there. They're very comfortable playing in that place. And the last time we played them, I thought we played them tough. Uh, they pulled away at the end, but I thought we played them tough. We had a chance until the last two minutes of the game. Anything else, guys?